Good. Yeah. All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Aki Mountain pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. It's the brothers from Great Millstone, Atlanta. You know, we have a, a lesson going into basically at the vision within one another, basically envisioning the truth or the kingdom of heaven within uh, the country. You know, because we were basically just discussing a little bit earlier um, about how Esau, even on the left hand side, how there's a hierarchy, how there's a rank and uh, checks and balances. And these devils uh, at the top of the food chain, they'll uh, push out orders, decrees, and the ones that's uh, the understudies or, or, or in the lesser, whether they're lesser luminaries in a lesser office of these, uh, these elevated devils, they'll trust in the vision. You know, they'll trust in the plans. They'll execute it. They, they won't second guess it. They won't question it. They just do that which is required of them because they believe that the individuals above them are actually pushing uh, the agenda for the, um, for the betterness of whatever they're trying to create. And these devils do it on, on, on a, in plans of wickedness, all right? More us brothers that's in the to establish righteousness, you know, uh, in the, in the uh, times to come, you know, it's going to be things that uh, the wire and you have to trust in the man that's right beside you, you know, especially our brothers that's been around uh, with the level of seniority, starting with the apostles and elders, pushing out certain decrees in the spirit. You know, you have to listen to that because, like it says, uh, that the elders are worthy of uh, double honors because they watch for your soul. And it goes even to uh, brothers in these different states, whether uh, Texas. Uh, Florida and you know of course New York and uh, DC here in uh, Georgia you know California Chicago so on and so forth you know you have leaders and established um, elders in, in, in all these different churches and uh, they, they have you know they push certain decrees they push out certain things for the betterment of, of the younger men and as a younger man you have to listen and take those steps and, and follow those steps without second guessing them you know, get out of that stubborn spirit, get out of that, well, you know, I, I believe that I should try it this way. Maybe if this don't work, you know, I'll listen to him after. Nah, listen to the, to, the, to the brother that's around you, you know, especially if it's a brother that's experienced in that particular area. If he's already dealt with certain situations similar to you and he's giving you sound advice that's backed by the scriptures and backed by pure sound wisdom, man. So, right. um, you know, we're going to jump into the scriptures and, uh, you know, to support what we're basically going to. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 28. And the Most High had set some in, in the church, first apostles, mm -hmm. secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, right. after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diver diversities of tongues. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, levels. Like like the apostles always speak, and speak about, there's levels to this truth. And like mm -hmm. I said, first and foremost, you have apostles, even during that time, of uh, Yahweh Shah and the, the apostles, you know, that was the, the, the governing body of the churches of, uh, of Israel at that time. And you had, you know, different individuals that were to come up under that rule of those apostles. Mm -hmm. Whatever they said through the spirit, that was what, what was the established word, you know, and it was, uh, you know, it was etched in a book for, for men to read and to follow unto this day. And there was a lot of rebukes. It was a lot of correction, you know, from, from the apostles personally. You know, Paul himself, he uh, rebuked a lot of churches, whether they were in Corinth, uh, Galatia, uh, Ephesus. He uh, gave them certain uh, instructions with a, with a sharp tongue. And it was men that actually read those letters and they got cut up in the spirit. And, and a lot of men took heed and a lot of men didn't take heed on the aftermath. Some men still wanted to follow after the lust and the desires of the flesh. And you had certain men that took heed and was like, you know, this is. This is from the Apostle Paul. He's he's anointed by the spirit of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. He, he's not just speaking through emotions. He's he's a, a established uh, elder. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is true. We, we should uh, put away fornication within our churches. We should, uh, you know, disdain from the following of idols and the impure practices and follow the, the fullness of this ministry so that we'll be guided to safety rather than. Uh, listening and, and conducting ourselves like whether Romans or Greeks, uh, so on and so forth. You see, 
So it's the same thing in these days now. You know, you have uh, brothers that give you, you know, certain orders according to the measurement of the spirit. And sometimes it comes softly and sometimes it comes very aggressively. But you have to take that brother beside you and you have to look at him and recognize that this brother is basically a, a up and coming ruler. Right. Yep. You know, yep. he's, he's not just any uh, nigga from from around the way. No, no cigarette Newport, Newport Negro. That's, that's just a, a armchair commentator, man. You know, he's just watching from the outside looking in. He's he's in the he's in the game, man. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, just seeing seeing uh, that 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 having that level of respect for your brother, you know, is key. All right. Because uh, they're always going to lead you, you know, in, in, the, in the right direction. All right. We know that the Lord basically uses his men. All right, to to counsel you and to guide you. The scriptures tell you right here. It says, uh, I'll read it again. First Corinthians 12 and 28 says, The most high had set had set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. So you have different uh different gifts, okay? Different offices, you know, uh, where the most high basically set up men over you to guide you and push you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, um, you know, uh, uh, what what Jake will do a lot of times is, you know, be real self-willed and, and want to do it their way instead of uh, instead of, um, you know, going and seeking advice from the men that the Lord uh, set over you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it says uh, or a lot of Jake uh, try to tailor the advice to themselves. Like, now nah, I know I, I shouldn't take advice from this brother because he's going to give me what uh, I, I need to hear. Let me go mm -hmm. to this brother and let me try to persuade him mm -hmm. and give him, ask him the question and ask him for counsel, but insert certain points so it could uh, persuade him to actually lean towards my lust. Mm -hmm. That's wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to actually, if you if you desire counsel, you have to lay it out, not on, on a point of biasness, on, on a, right. on, from from a aspect and posi a position of truth. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Kind of says, uh, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversity of tongues. Hey, it spoke about, of tongues, right? it spoke about uh, excuse me, it spoke about uh, governments, which this is an established government. You know, you have uh, the, the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, which is Yahweh Shah, and he laid the foundation uh, upon uh, men. Mm -hmm. And it spoke about in uh, Galatians how you had James, Cephas, and uh, John that were the pillars of the churches even back then, and it's the same thing now. The word government, govern is the rule, and meant is, is the mental, your mind. So the ruling of your mind. You have brothers that have a particular rule over uh, your mind through the spirit. And either you're going to follow the spiritual government or you're going to follow this carnal government. Either you're going to attach to, to, the, um, to the ideals and the, uh, the philosophies of this uh, e Egyptian empire, the new Egypt, or, or, or Israel, man. So it's like you only have two choices because you have any anywhere you go, anything that you're a part of, it's, it has a particular rule over your spirit, man. There is no freedom, so to speak. Mm -hmm. There is no free will. And it's, it's, it's checks and balances. It's, it's law, statutes, and commandments. And brothers are going to judge certain things according to the laws. That's why the scripture says that what? We're a nation full of kings and priests. And we have, and every time a brother gives counsel, what do they back it by? The, the, the scriptures. All right. This is the standard that each brother goes by. And if a brother is not speaking uh, according to thus saith the Lord, then he's just going according to his own spirit and his own heart. Mm -hmm. But if a brother is actually saying certain things to you, you know, and, and backing each and every point by specific um, wisdom that men are already outlaid in the, in the scriptures, whether it's Solomon in the book of Proverbs, whether, um, you know, Peter uh, in, in the book of Peter's John, that's, that's the men that he's relying on. For, for counsel to give to you. Mm -hmm. So if you're denying that brother's word, you're not just denying him, you're denying what Peter said, man. You're denying what, what John said. You're denying what Yahweh Shah said. If Yahweh, if the brothers is, is backing up certain points through the book of Matthew and about the book of Mark and Luke, and it's coming through the words of Yahweh Shah and, and you, oh, whatever, man. You, you, you're not coming against that brother, man. Yeah, I think so. You got it. Uh, just going off what your um, brother was just saying, um, this is uh, Paul speaking to the um, church of Thessalonica. This is First uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. 
It says, for our exhortation was not of deceit, mm -hmm. nor of uncleanliness, mm -hmm. nor in God, mm -hmm. but as we were allowed of the Most High to, to be put in <coughs> trust with the gospel, mm -hmm. even so we speak, not as pleasing men, yep. but the Most High. Right. Just try out our hearts. Right, because we all are, are, are sacrifices, man. We putting ourselves on a, a as an atonement on this altar and, and its requirements. The Lord required us to teach this gospel and to lead each other to the pasture. Mm -hmm. All right. And just like Paul said, it wasn't in the spirit of God, it wasn't in the spirit of uh, deceit. deceit, preaching mm -hmm. for the sake of uh, getting money. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when you give brothers counsel and you give brothers sound wisdom and tell them and direct them to the path. Ultimately, you're not you're not gaining uh, uh, finances. You're not gaining uh, physical ch treasures mm -hmm. off of uh, off of the acts that you do. You're 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 putting and investing your energy in it, though. Mm -hmm. You're investing your time in it, though. So that's why even on the uh, the exchanging end or the receiving end, a brother that's listening, mm -hmm. you have to understand that that brother's coming through a spirit of sincerity. Yes. Sincerity. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why he's actually talking to you about certain things, yeah. and that goes right back to the yeah. point of the, the kingdom, man. It's, so I, you got to say too, you know, uh, the scriptures speak about wisdom being better than rubies. Mm -hmm. Love to paraphrase, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, that brother is, is is trying to give you wisdom, you know, and understanding. So that, that's better than any kind of money, you know, or, or any or, or jewelry or anything that you can get, man. Mm -hmm. So it's better if you just sit there and. and Basically, have trust, man. Have that trust. Yeah, that brother, gonna lead you the right way. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. You I was know. gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, um, you know, especially in that day, you know, the times that we're going into. All right, say, say, for instance, you, it's just you and and one and the other brother, mm -hmm. right? And the time of Jacob's trouble, say it's just you and one other brother. Are you gonna respect his? Are you gonna respect his word? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's when it. That's really when it all. Uh, uh, that's when it matters the most. All right, that's when that's when your brother's words are gonna matter matter the most is when you're in a real uh, uh, life or death situation. Are you gonna follow that order? And this is this is the importance of establishing this now. Mm -hmm. You know, putting this in your spirit right now, so that in that day you you'll be easily led. Okay, yeah, right. you'll be a, a good sheep. A good sheep is always gonna follow the shepherd. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you don't gotta yank him by the neck. Mm -hmm. You know, basically chomp. Honestly, willing to follow, you know, and, and that's what, like the brother said. It goes back to the spirit of not being self-willed. Don't will upon yourself. Do what the, the will of the Father tell, told you. All right, because we're all trying to follow the will of Yahweh by Shem Shot. And certain men, they they have a closer relationship. You know, some men that maybe just came in, so they they're not as familiar with the wisdom, certain peculiar wisdom. Uh, aspects of the wisdom of the scriptures, so they, they may act through, the, uh, through uh, a point of simplicity and, and naiveness. They may be sincere, but still they haven't been uh, seasoned to the point that they actually have the full understanding. And that's why the scriptures speak about do nothing without advice. T take counsel, mm -hmm. you know, take guidance from, from leaders. That's why you have men around you to sharpen you and to direct you and to help you in your, in your walk. And, and that's 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 what leads uh, the, uh, the two types of men, either to safety or, or to destruction, because the man that actually gets led to safety, he listened, mm -hmm. he took heed, he observed, he he watched, and he, and he followed the clo closely the path of the leaders. And the man that actually got got snatched up by the spiritual demon Satan, as the scripture says, not a novice, mm -hmm. lest being lifted up with pride, fall up to the condemnation of the devil, man. Right. So I got this scripture. Yes, my God, yeah, just a little bit more. Okay. Are all verse twenty nine? Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Mm -hmm. Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? So basically, you know, it's it's rhetorically saying it's a rhetorical question. Basically saying, you know, is everyone does everyone have the same gift? No, everyone. There's different uh, diversities of the body. All right, and uh, you know that's why a lot of times a, a brother can counsel you on certain things. That are his strength, that you may not, you may, you may lack uh, uh, wisdom or lack knowledge of, of how to uh, deal in a proper situation, in a particular situation. But that brother has experience to to basically, uh, uh, you know, help you get through it. Yeah. You know, you brothers got certain uh, peculiar eyes, man. Every brother's eyes don't work the same through the spirit, you know, uh, in this in this ministry. 
you know, brothers have a, a, a high level of vision in different paths. Like, for instance, this brother may have had a high level experience uh, with, with women in his life. So he unsure of women. He understands how women can pull you out of, out of your, uh, your masculine spirit and how they can seduce you. Mm -hmm. You know, he might have got caught up in a couple of snares and nets in his uh, life in particular. And he sees a, a woman actually mending that same net on you. You know, working working a web to, to catch you in it. He might tell you, hey, brother, you know, I, you know, I've been through that before. I know what this woman is doing. She's trying to catch you up, bro. She's trying to choke you. And and uh and don't don't take heed to that, bro. Don't do it that way. Do not do it that way. Do it this way. And with Jake, whatever, man. I know, I know my boo. That's what you call a head sprung. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know my boo. Head sprung. But that'd be Jake. You know, yeah, head sprung. Yeah, you know, just head sprung, just you know. Got you, you know, just in love mm -hmm. or headstrong. Headstrong, yep, yep. You got it, bro. Okay, I got the scripture of uh, Ephesians two and twenty, and I just want to say too, and it comes through all aspects because, like the brother just spoke about, everybody doesn't have the same peculiar gift. Because that brother may give you good wisdom on that aspect, but he may have a lot more experience and say, for instance, certain worldly things where he knows you might get caught up in, and these are just still carnal things. Just think about when things play out in the end of society where you have to listen to the man beside you. You have to take full counsel when you th can't second guess. Yeah, look at uh, the, the movie uh, Bird Box, right? Mm -hmm. And that movie Bird Box is heavy because uh, at the beginning of the movie, the movie, uh, the lady, um, Sandra Bullock, she had, what she tell the kids? She said, look, listen to me and, uh, and, and you know, yeah. basically yeah. being, giving them strict, giving them strict, giving, she basically gave them strict directions. Like, mm -hmm. if you take your blindfold off, you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's hey, that's the same thing. We have to actually have that same respect, that same level of respect for the men. Uh, uh, you know, our our spiritual uh, fathers, our spiritual, you know, uh, uh, guardians. Mm -hmm. You know, and what happened? That little girl, she she was listening to the voice, and she started to go get off the boat, mm -hmm. and she almost got killed. Yep. And Sandra Bullock had to reprove the, the crap out of her, man. So I told you, you know, I told you not to, to do this, that, that, you know, had to, had to chop her up in the spirit, man, because yeah. she knew the severity and the, the she, she witnessed death. Mm -hmm. She witnessed all these things going on around her when she was impregnated with that yeah. child, when her mm -hmm. friend was impregnated with, the, with her child. So yeah. she actually firsthand witnessed individuals dying through, through just foolish decision making. Mm -hmm. And she got what? Her senses got exercised. Yep. That's why she could actually wear that blindfold and she was still able to maneuver. Yeah. still able to maneuver. And she would be, you know, you know, just as a as an analogy, she would be on the level of an apostle. Mm -hmm. You know, someone who who, you know, their senses exercise, like the brother says, someone who has a level of experience and they're able to basically guide. And guess what? The the young the young uh children in the movie, that would be the fruit. That would be the fruit. You know, the the younger men that that uh the younger men in the age hey, doesn't uh yeah I was shy call them babes. Mm -hmm. yes. Those are the babes, and basically you, sometimes you gotta be strict strict with the babes. Like, look, this is how you do it. You know, don't take your blindfold off. Give you give them strict directions, and then if, if they don't if they don't follow, that's on them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we're getting to a point where where you know that that uh se that um self willed and that um how do I say that uh that uh. Just uh, leaning, stubborn, leaning to your own understanding. Yeah, yeah that, that stubborn spirit. We're getting to the point where if, if you carry that on, it, it could cost you your life. Mm -hmm. You know, we we actually knew a brother like that. Mm -hmm. That you know, he, you know, he he had kind of a, a stubborn spirit. All right, and and the most I you know um uh took him took him you know yeah took him up. So yeah, and, and, and that's the seriousness of it. You know, we speak on things. Like brothers, like the brother said, we do. We even speak about things from previous experience, seeing things. We don't just, you know, we're not just freestyling. These are experiences that we actually firsthand witnessed in this walk. But I got this scripture uh, first. Excuse me, Hebrews five and uh, thirteen. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belonging to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So certain brothers have a high level of skill when it comes to the to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. It tells you that in Sirach, the, uh, the first chapter, I think the 18th verse, wisdom ran up down skill. 
and a brother through his wisdom he actually can help uh maintain you in your walk you know just like if you you um if your car is breaking down you know first first and foremost if you were a a true mechanic you could actually hear your car actually going through certain things you could actually already catch it hear the symptoms hear the symptoms of it but in most cases you you can't recognize that why because you don't have the skill of being a mechanic so you have to go to a mechanic and the mechanic will diagnose it and tell you you know okay you know whether it's your alternator going bad certain parts of your car is actually messing up but do, do you oh this mechanic don't know what the hell he talking about I, I know I, that ain't, it ain't my alternator it might be something else uh, yeah you don't never think like that why because this individual he's he's took the necessary steps to actually master being that mechanic of course, you know you in a, certain situations do happen where you actually go to multiple mechanics to get the full analysis, and one may tell you something different than the next. But it's all about the levels of experience, because mm -hmm. some individuals do wing it, and that's why you know the scriptures speak about having multiple counsels. All right, and if it's backed by true sound wisdom, then you take heed and follow that. And, and how do you know a man that's actually uh, in a full stage, in a full set stages of being exercised from what he tells you? And it comes to pass just like how he said it, man. Mm -hmm. Whether a hey, the brother tell you, bro, don't do it this way. This is what's gonna happen. Do it this way. This is gonna happen. And if you don't do it, you see the exact same thing that happened when that the brother told you about. Oh man, this brother, he's he he has the eyes, man. He 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 can see. Yep. He sees things steps ahead of time before they actually occur. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to. And sometimes brothers don't even have to physically go through these things. They observed it so much from individuals around mm -hmm. and, and, and of course the scriptures. scriptures the scriptures yep. are first and foremost yep. and uh, um you know if i could add to that you know as far as uh you know brothers going against the grain in certain particular in certain situations you know for you to do that that's that's a, a lack of fear also mm -hmm. yep. because um you know here here it is you have a brother that's telling you to to do it this way and then yet you you went the you went the contrary. The brother telling you go right, the brother telling you to go right, you, you went left. And that's lack of fear because now you know in the back of your mind that the Lord basically, you know, that was the Lord telling you to go in a particular direction to mm -hmm. do it this way. I was like, the Lord, you want to go left? Okay. You know, and the Lord creates that scenario where. <laughs> Where mm -hmm. what that brother said will happen is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Then they might end up getting locked up. Mm -hmm. Might uh, you might get beat up. You know, you, you depending on what lane you roll into, what territory you run into, in in this world, you might mm -hmm. it might cost your life, man. Yeah. It's not these ain't no game over video games. You could restart it, cut the game off, and cut it back mm -hmm. on, and you get your lives back. You know, you play certain games back in the day before you you die. You you shut the game off and cut it back on. Mm -hmm. So you can actually keep your records clean. It is not like that in the truth, man. The the one hiccup, the the one spill spill, so to speak, one slip up can can cost you your life, and that's dangerous. That's why the brother said that it initially starts with fear mm -hmm. and, and trust. And if you don't fear and if you don't trust, you're gonna move off of your own self will. Mm -hmm. That's right. You got it. Uh, and this is uh, Ephesians two and twenty. Uh, I start at nineteen. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High, and are built up upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shai himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye are also ye also are built together for an habitation of the Most High through the spirit yeah you're building together for an habitation you know and that's that's the elect the elect are, are basically one one body mm -hmm. okay that's basically what that's saying we're building together and and you know uh what it say uh, about growth mm -hmm. fitly being framed mm -hmm. you know so hey everything is is uh uh you know uh, uh everything has to be in unison like brothers always mention um uh, you know the the instruments how we're playing instruments, you know, you got some, you know, you got some, sometimes someone get out of tune sometimes. So mm -hmm. brother has to, you know, basically look, correct them, right. correct them to get them back right. So they can, you know, get back on the right track. And, and if, you if you listen to music and you hear certain instruments out of tune, 
it messes up the whole track, man. You don't even want to listen to the song no more. It don't matter how much good um, instruments are actually in tandem. If it's one instrument that's just throwing off the synch synchronicity of the, the song, you don't want to hear it no more. Mm -hmm. So that's the, 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 the that's how one man can actually d damage the whole machine, man. And that's why it's, it's pivotal that you don't be that brother that's just out of place, that's just out of tune, that's not uh, in sync, that's not in harmony. Learn to move in harmony and stay in harmony. But you know what's, what, what happens? Jake likes to etch their own way in this truth. They want to uh, establish themselves in this truth while actually uh, you know, maintaining something else. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, just stay focused on the path. Stay, stay in the spirit of your how about Shemir was shot. All right, don't try to be double-minded. Don't try to do, you know, uh, and, and it goes back to ulterior motives, man. Jake, I have a lot of ulterior motives, and like you said, being self-willed because the will is it starts stops uh, becoming what uh, what they actually want to follow, which is the spirit of the Lord. But it starts to be be that they follow their own will, and it leads them off the tracks of the truth, and and it actually leads them towards destruction, man. Mm -hmm. Any brothers add anything? I got something real quick. Okay. You, you go ahead. Yeah, so this is uh Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. It says all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, mm -hmm. and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, mm -hmm. for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yep. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Yeah. And have you if you see something thoroughly furnished, that's a deep cleaning, man. Yep. You know, just like if you have to uh, clean a uh, clean a floor. Do a thorough, thorough burnishing, or, or a thorough, uh, you know, basically maintenance on the floor that's jacked up. You know, hey, hey when we came into the street, we jacked up. You know, and, it's, and a lot of this grime and a lot of this dirt doesn't take one year to get off. It takes time, and that's why the brother beside you is, is essentially like a, a your, your spiritual maintenance man. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. he comes in, does checkups, he yeah. examines, does the evaluation. Like, yeah, this this need to be cleaned up in this brother man. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of it's a lot of dirt. It's a lot of uh, dross in the spirit. He got a lot of nigga sediment in him, man. Symptoms. Yeah, he got a lot of symptoms, and, and you know, and and it's. I mean, it's, it's respectfully, but it, that's just how it is. We all we came out of the world. A lot mm -hmm. of us brothers have been defiled for twenty plus years before re returning to this knowledge, man. So mm -hmm. yeah. you, we're never clean until we actually fully get transferred out of this place. Yeah, right. the scriptures say um, a man shall be finer than gold. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, the scriptures say we're gonna be tried in the fire. So. You know that's that's how we're gonna better ourselves is is through basically a, a cleansing and purging out you know certain certain ways about ourselves mm -hmm. you know right. you know and and one of the ones that we're focusing on in this particular subject is is you know just attacking that that self-willed and and that pride spirit you know moving moving on your own merits mm -hmm. you know because um you know it, things just just uh, flow better when you're yeah. moving uh, with like you know for instance even animals mm -hmm. animals what are they how do they move they move in herds move in herds yeah. okay Thanks. you know you don't if 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 you see that everyone is moving in one particular direction why would you go turn around and and move the other way can I get one skip yeah, of course they go uh let's see but just like the brother speaking about herds um, actually rolling and and, and uh, you know, close pastures to actually wax successful and wherever they're in, whether it's a, a prey, prey or whether it's pride, the prey actually stays in close, close knit because it actually helps them to survive longer. Mm -hmm. Just think of a, a sheep being an independent uh, animal. All of, there would be no more sheep in the world, man. Mm -hmm. uh, especially without a shepherd. You know, they have to stick together. They have to, to stick. Survive. They have to stick together. Exactly. Yeah. And this is a. a Sirach 6 and 2, extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull strain alone. Mm. So don't extol yourself. Don't put your mind on a plateau where you feel like you just hired and they Israelites, but I'm that Israelite. And like it says, in the counsel of your own heart, because you start to listen to that, to that pride demon on yourself. And like it says, that thy soul be torn in pieces because Satan is looking as a roaring lion, as it is written in First Peter 5 and 8, as a predator seeking whom he may devour. Right. And a bull is prey to what? A, 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 a pack of lions, man. It don't matter how big a wildebeest is. It doesn't matter how big a zebra is. 
you got animals that prey strictly on them. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, giraffes. Giraffes be up there, man. Yep. Oh, you you take a, a good 10, 15 lions. They gonna bring it down. Oh, they gonna tear them down. They knock them legs off. They they, they break <coughs> break up the stability. After the legs collapse, the whole building uh, drops, man. That's it. Yeah. So so it don't matter how strong you may be as an independent Israelite. You need a body, man. Look at these elites. Look at these devils. It ain't just one uh, devil. It's a multifaceted conglomerate. Yep. Where they all have to, they will all connect uh, like an octopus system, man. And it is no uh, no independence. If any of them try to break off and do their own thing, what happened? They get blackballed and they 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 end up losing their career. They lose their lives over that shit, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Look at the mob. After you've been in so long, you can't leave, man. Mm -hmm. You can't just leave and, 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 and do your own thing and think you're just going to go back to regular civilization. Yeah. Like you've never been there. You know, what happens with a lot of those individuals, they get killed. Now, we're not saying we're the mob or anything like that. We're just giving comparisons of the severity, order, the organization. severity and organization. This is a spiritual organization. Mm -hmm. The word organized, and if I'm not mistaken, it goes into organ, mm -hmm. you know, which is, uh, you know, in, in, in tandem and one synchronicity, like we said earlier, man. Mm -hmm. So we just like follow the follow the path, follow the brothers and listen and, and, and actually you know, take heed so that you'll actually make it to the finish line without any type of damage, without having to go through all these different things of being broken up and beaten down. You know, you brothers had anything or that kind of, I got something. Okay. Right. We'll end it with that. Uh, this is uh, First Peter 2 and 2. As newborn babies, as it's lucky, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, as as newborn babes, you know, going back to how uh, how you know we're likened as babes in this thing. Okay, we're young. Okay, we're we're trying to learn. You know what what how how does a baby tell tell its guardian? You know, nah. You know how to. You know, yeah. you're a baby. Like what you mean? You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what happened to those those badass kids? It's a law when re children yeah, yeah. rebel. Mm -hmm. You know, you have all right to kill that child. Mm -hmm. You know, the stubborn and rebellious son, all he want to do is drink and be a nigga, you know, eat flaming hot Cheetos and, 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 and just watch and nigga soda. shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink. Oh, drink up the soda. Here it is. You'll get a mm -hmm. you'll get full to fill the fridge up, leave for a little bit. Come back. All the fucking food is gone. Mm -hmm. Nigga. And, and you go in a nigga room. <laughs> nigga got plates all over the place. Cigarette butts, ashes, mm -hmm. you know, clothes on the drawers on the floor. Because mm -hmm. it's he's rooted in, in that wickedness, mm -hmm. and when you look at uh when you look at uh babes, right? What what happens when a child is, when when they're under, let's say like seven, eight? The parents is make the parents are making all the decisions for the child. Mm -hmm. The child doesn't have no type of say so or nothing. Nope. If you're a babe, the parent is the, the parent decides what you eat, what you wear. Yep. Uh, what school, you go to. what school are you going to? All that stuff. So you don't really have, as a, if you're a babe, you really don't have no type of say so. Yeah. You just have to follow what your parents are 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 uh, instilling in you, mm -hmm. and then you know once you become uh, of a of a, of a age, age a mature age, a mature age, then you start to get a little bit more leniency. You start to you know be able to uh, experience experience mm -hmm. and and you know you get a little bit of. Uh, Independent, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the scriptures mm -hmm. speak about in the Galatians how a man is under tutors and governors to the time appointed. Mm -hmm. And you have to go through governors, going back to government, men ruling your mind and governing over you to the point where the Holy Spirit deals with you, as it tells you in uh, First mm -hmm. John. It said it, it it comes to a point where no man has to teach you and basically mm -hmm. give you all these, uh, you know, the basic tutorials mm -hmm. of the you know elementary school knowledge because you got this Holy Spirit now. You've been that's you've been what around and you've been fascinating yourself mm -hmm. with this word. You want to say something? Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's what Yahweh Shai did with the with the uh, disciples. You know, Yahweh Shai basically uh, uh, he told the disciples he said, "Look, you know, pretty soon I'm not gonna be here." But the whole time Yahweh Shai was was you know with them, what was he doing? Instilling leadership. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he was basically uh, you know showing them. You know, uh, being an example of how to operate, how to, uh, how to, you know, uh, uh, being well, being a, a spiritual, a spiritual beacon mm -hmm. of light. You know, and basically, but he, the point is, you know, he was prepping them 
so that they could be with so that they can handle uh him not being around mm -hmm. him not being mm -hmm. physically around yep. because they had the spirit he had at the, that point he had to enhance their skills mm -hmm. the spirit you know because they were they, they didn't have their faith wasn't on a level you know peter's faith wasn't on a level at that at that time with yahweh shot he had to grow he, he doubted he when he tried to walk on water he almost sunk you know he uh the disciples had to get rebuked constantly yahweh shot had to constantly get on them but he was doing things to better their faith to better their their trust and, and trusting Yahweh Shah, even uh, Thomas, which he's known as, as doubting Thomas, because when Yahweh Shah came back, Thomas didn't even believe that I was the, the, the anointed, man. But what did mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah had to do? He had to rebuke uh, Thomas mm -hmm. and basically show, you know, the, the spirituality of Yahweh Shah. And what did that do? That built them up on a high, high level when you yeah. go to the to the book of Acts. And a lot of things that, a lot of things that, uh, you know, the Lord will, will do to strengthen you, you may not fully understand, you may not fully grasp. Like I'll give you an example, like, um, you know, a Karate Kid, right? Mm -hmm. When he was washing the car, doing the wax on, wax off, mm -hmm. you know, he's like, yo, what, what, you know, what is this, mm -hmm. you know? But look, he had to basically, you know, put in that work mm -hmm. and then it, it wound up what? It, it, it instilled certain qualities in mm -hmm. him. It instilled a lot of qualities in him uh -huh. that, that, you know, ultimately got him to the point where he's at now. But, you know, uh, comparing it to the scriptures, it's the same way. There's, there's going to be a lot of ways that the Lord, you know, we may not fully understand. You know, we're going to be like, oh, well, you know, why can't I just do it this way? But, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that the Lord is going to uh, take you through that you may not fully you may not fully grasp. Mm -hmm. But but that just goes to trust in the system. Follow yeah. the system. Yeah. This is this is the system that works. Following the spirit. Following, Following the spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a, we have we have a proven uh spirit, like a proven system that works. All you gotta do is follow the script. Mm -hmm. Follow yeah. the script. It's all it's all laid out behind you. Just follow, you know, follow the system. But you know, you got people, you got some people that just don't, they don't like to follow the uh yeah, follow order, man. Follow the order, you know. Yeah, rebellious children, and, and those men gonna be uh weaned out, man. If you walking in this truth and you want to go off of your own, you don't want to listen, and it, the Lord's gonna cut you out the default, man. So this is a thing of fear. This is a thing of listening and taking the counsel without second guessing. Believing in believe in the brother that's beside you. You know, whatever state you in, believe believe in your elder teachers, believe in your your, your bishops, your captains. You know, put your trust in those those brothers, man, mm -hmm. uh, and allow that spirit, allow those those good characteristics them brothers hold. Uh, to actually factor within yourself because you need it. We need it We all need to actually grow and to become on a higher level. We're not none of us are perfect mm -hmm. We still need a lot more uh, Polishing a lot more spiritual grooming a lot more humility You know, so it, we haven't none of us been caught up on a chariot like Elijah or uh, Enoch so we still here. Oh, yeah, how is shot? So we still here to, because we got a lot of work to do that's right. I'm going to start at the uh, top one more time. First Peter 2 and 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, all guile, and hypocrisies, mm -hmm. and see that that spirit really uh, uh, it aligns with, with these, okay? Hypocrisies, mm -hmm. you know, being being a hypocrite, you know, basically uh, uh, saying, you, yeah, you about this truth, but, you know, your actions speaking differently, speaking differently you kind of, you know, <laughs> you know, when 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 brothers uh uh you know put the scope on you we start to see oh damn okay nah he's not really he's going the other way he's not really moving in the in the with the flock mm -hmm. uh but it says uh and envies and all evil speakings and, and a lot of that stuff come from the seeds of uh, envy mm -hmm. the seeds of hypocrisy like the scripture speaking about that's why I said put those things away before you actually serve the Lord because it's not gonna marry you right when you're actually uh in the spirit when you're actually in the ministry it's, you're going to show signs of envy you're going to show signs of malice you're going to show your signs of jealousy if you're jealous of somebody you can't really naturally follow them yeah. mm. you're going to come off insincerely you're going to yeah. want to do your own thing you're not going to want to listen to them because you don't you don't trust in them you're envious of them mm -hmm. so you want to outprove him and outshine him and you're going to go off of your own directions yeah. and that's the spirit of all these uh break off camps mm -hmm. really all them all them break off camps from great millstone they started in the spirit of envy it started yeah. from envy you know basically like damn you know 
you know, just just that just that inward inward rebelliousness and hatred. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep going. It says, uh, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Uh, really, that's, that's well. I, I'll keep I'll keep going. To, um, okay. Verse four. If 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 so be, ye have tasted the Lord is gracious. You have tasted that the Lord is gracious. To whom concerning as unto the living stone disallowed indeed of men, mm -hmm. but chosen of the most high and precious. Yeah, the Lord was rejected. He was disallowed. He wasn't allowed to the the uh, you know the, the the communing of certain individuals. They didn't believe in Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't see him as the Hamashiach, but we believe it, him to be mm -hmm. the Hamashiach, and we try to follow and, and fully um put ourselves in the, the armor of the spirit of the lord uh, and like i said even though he was rejected by many he was still accepted as the chief cornerstone and he still has glory in the heavens so it's the same thing with us just because the brother beside you ain't driving the best car he's he might be in a broke down house you know he might look bummy but that brother's a king man that's going back to the vision All right and a lot of times jake see that like man this brother he you telling me this man that got 22 dollars in his pocket trying to tell me what to do I got a full-fledged business. Mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur. I like a Mayweather. You can't teach a guy like that. You know, he doesn't see us as as uh, the royal royalty. He just he would look at us like low-class niggas. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have any type of uh, you know authentic uh, luxury attire. Yeah, and that's that's why uh, Jake always uh, walking past that camp. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> older Jakes that just walk past. They're like, man, I don't know nothing. Yep. They gotta go through more in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how they think. Because they just think they, they don't know they they don't see things from a spiritual perspective, like yeah. damn, you know, hey that karma. Damn, karma. They, they've been studying the Bible for how long? Mm -hmm. Damn, you know, they got the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah, these they, these men are building in the spirit. Yeah, building in the spirit together. Mm -hmm. They just hey, they just walk right past, mm -hmm. not considering. Purging our vessels from, from impure thoughts, uh, mm -hmm. refining each other's mind and, and, and you know, structuring each other upon righteous qualities of the lord man jake don't think about those things they look they're looking at the external man yeah mm -hmm. instead of the internal and, and what you got mm -hmm. they always look at, that's the first thing that jake looked at what you got what kind of car you got drive what your, what your woman look like mm -hmm. you know but we we worry about the spiritual aspect of things man yeah. our brothers move our brothers thinking you know what's 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 your purpose mm -hmm. you know why are you here you know, these are the things that, that we're looking for, man. That's right. That's it. Still, Still a little bit more. No. Nah. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that's all we have for you, Akim. Hopefully, you brothers are edified. Stay in the spirit. Stay looking at the brother with a, a level of respect and uh, always humbly taking uh, wise counsel from starting off with your apostles, your elders, and your captains, bishops, teachers, so on and so forth. So when any, so we want anybody giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Maki. Shalom.